The topic for today is reconciliations. The word reconciliation means to reach agreement. If, for example, you have an argument with your boyfriend or girlfriend, you sit together, you talk things through, you reach agreement, it basically means you've reconciled your differences. Now, in accounting, when we talk about reconciliation in grade 10, we are referring to making sure that the debtors control or creditors control account and the debtors control and creditors control list totals are the same. If you think about it, the debtors control account shows what everybody owes you. The debtors list shows what each person owes you. So if you add up what each person owes you, you must get what everybody owes you together. And the same applies to creditors. If you can make sure that this happens, you're going to have good internal control over your debtors and your creditors because you will know that the balances are correct. Now the method you need to follow is you need to take your debtors control account in the general ledger and your debtors list and just by the way this could be creditors control and creditors list. I'm just doing debtors today. You're going to compare these two. And the reason you compare them is to identify where there are differences. Once you've identified where there are differences, you're going to undertake the reconciliation process. In other words, you're going to make corrections to the debtors control, as well as the debtors list, or just the debtors list, or just the debtors control, depending on the type of error. Once you've completed this reconciliation process, when you balance the debtors control account again, and you total the debtors list, these totals here must actually be equal, which means you've reconciled differences between the debtors control and the debtors list. Now, a couple of things you need to remember. If an entry requires a double entry to fix it, in other words, if the error affects two accounts, those are all going to get done in the general journal. If, however, only one amount is incorrect, then you only need to change that amount and therefore you won't be required to do it in the general journal. And the activity which I'm going to go through now covers both these cases. So just to remind you, if two accounts are affected, if for example you leave something out of the creditors journal for equipment that you purchased, equipment will be wrong as well as creditors control which means you'll need to do general journal entry. If, however, you post an amount incorrectly to one debtor's account, you just need to change that debtor's balance because it's only there that the error is, has been made. All right, let's go through this example now. The first thing I'll ask you to briefly explain how debtor's reconciliation improves internal control in the business. Okay. You are trying to detect where errors have been made. And once you've detected them, you correct them. So that then you know that the balance in the debtor's control account will equal the total of the debtor's list. And that ensures that you've got good internal control because you have the correct amount owed by debtors. The next question asks you to calculate the correct debtor's control account balance as well as do the debtor's list. Now I'm going to do these two things simultaneously rather than separately. So if you have a look at the question here, they give you the debtors control balance, 25,600, as well as all the balances. So you would start off by filling in that debtors control balance and then what each debtor owes you over here. Okay, now we need to go through the errors. When a credit note was issued to Omega, this was reported in his account and the debtor's control account as 550 instead of 55. That means Omega's account is wrong and debtor's control is wrong. So a credit note issued decreases what we owe. So that means we decrease the account by 550, but we should have only decreased it by 55. So to correct that error there, you're going to need to add back to Omega's account here, as well as add back to your debtor's control. 
because you decrease the account by too much. The second one, an invoice issued to Alpha was recorded at the cost price of 2400 The markup is 50% on cost. Okay, if it's in the relevant journal, it means Alpha's account is wrong as well as debtor's control. If you have a look here, if you work out the selling price here, you will get 3600 We only reported 2400 which means to correct the error then, you're going to need to add 1200 to Alpha's account, as well as add 1200 to the debtor's control account. The next one, a credit note for 750 issued to Theta was recorded in the debtor's journal and posted as such to all ledger accounts. If it's a credit note issued, that is when stock is returned. So we should have decreased what Theta owes us. What we did by mistake is we increased. By reporting the debtor's journal, we said Theta owes us more. So in order to correct this error, you need to fix it by adding double the amount, or using rather double the amount. We increased by 750, we should have decreased by 750, which means you're going to need to decrease Theta's account by 1,500 as well as debtor's control. So if something's put in the opposite journal, in other words, you increase instead of decrease, don't forget to double the amounts to fix the error. Okay, the next one. Settlement discount grant to Omega was posted to his account as 30 instead of 300. In this case, it's just a maker's account that's wrong. Now, when you give someone a settlement discount, they owe you less. So we said they owe 30 rand less, but he actually owes 300 rand less. So to fix that entry there, we will need to decrease it by 270 rand. When Beta paid 4,500 discount 250, it was recorded as 450.25. So he's paid us back. We said he paid back 450, but he actually paid back 4,500. We said the discount was 20, but the discount was actually 250. So you work out the difference between each of those numbers and you are going to subtract what is owed. Now, because it said was posted to all accounts, you need to decrease Beach's account as well as the debtor's control account by both the EFT amount as well as the discount amount. An invoice issued to Omega was posted to the account of Alpha. In this case, two things are wrong, Omega as well as Alpha. So if you have a look here, it was issued to Omega, but we posted to Alpha. So to correct that entry there, you're going to need to Add to Omega and subtract from Alpha. Okay, so it was an invoice that Omega owes us the money, so we add to that person and we minus from that person. Now you need to show as well that the debtor's control account is going to increase and decrease. The reason for showing this, I realize they cancel out. There's two reasons. Basically, there's usually a mark allocator for that, as well as a mark allocator for that. But the main reason is, if you leave it out, I can't tell whether you knew they cancelled out, or whether you didn't know what to do. So that is why you need to show the plus as well as the minus, 1,400 in this case. Then no entry was made when Peter's account was written off on the last day of the month. Theta's account, if you work out the difference there, needs to decrease by 1740 in the debtor's control as well as in his account too. And then the bookkeeper forgot to report interest charge on the account of Beta, but the general ledger was correctly reported. So you don't need to change debtor's control, but you are going to need to add to what Beta owes us. And then the last one, the debtor's journal total was overcast 
Over means too much, but 300. Debtors journals use when you sell on credit, the debtors owe you more. But we said the owed us 300 and more than they actually did. So to correct that error there, you're going to minus 300. There's nothing wrong with the debtors list here. It's only the debtors control. Once you're at the end of the transactions, you're now going to total all these figures here. And then you do the same with the debtors control account. And you will see now that the balance of the debtors control account and the debtors ledger or debtors list total rather is actually the same. Okay, so when you're doing this transaction, if it affects two accounts, you must change debtors control because you would record a general journal entry. If just one account was incorrect, like that 60 rand interest, you just change that. Or the 300 rand debtors journal, you just change that. So you only change debtors control if there's one entry made wrong in the debtors control amount or a double entry error. Any double entry error must go in the debtors control. And remember what I told you right at the beginning, Reconciliation can apply to debtors and creditors. You're going to follow the exact same method, no matter whether it's debtors or creditors. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you.